Well, that was the words there of the race winners, Jack Maranto and Albert Costa, now our championship leaders. This is the highlights, though. This was the incident at the start that saw the number 10, the Mercedes there, that was sandwiched in the middle uh, with... Uh, they were given a penalty with uh, Miguel Ramos having to do some recovering towards the end. This was another incident a little bit further down the field, Olymp Racing being turned round in their Audi R8, and they wouldn't go any further. Uh, this was uh, Fabio Anidi uh, for Lazarus Racing, making one of many ambitious moves, which would lead to incident. This was Fabrizio Crestani after that uh, incident at the start, starting to uh, make a recovery. Right, this is where Lazarus Racing, it all went very wrong. Two Lamborghinis going round uh, in synchronisation, two teammates as well. A uh, fortunate incident for them. That was Tom Monzo Cole in the number 20 after he jumped in the car trying to make a move. Uh, this was the third incident and uh, probably the worst of them. Uh, the number 26 Lazarus racing car going straight into the side of uh, Giuseppe Cipriani. This was the battle for second right at the end. It went to the wire between Visser and Chavez. Visser would eventually hold on, but out front taking their second win of the season, Giacomo Alto bought the number 63 Emil Frey racing car home in the lead. And they go to the top of the standing. Second was Betske Visser uh, in that BMW. And Enrique Chavez uh, bought the 59 Terra Martin motorsport car home in third place. Yeah. <laughs>